Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, this today's video will be um, covering what I melted for the week so um, all of my empties and then all of the rest. Um, my son is in bed hopefully he stays there so I'm hoping I can get through this un uninterrupted but let's see how we go. So I'm gonna get stuck into the empties first. Um, looks like I emptied a lot of my a few quite a few Australian vendor um, wax bits and pieces so Baby got wax, I'm a mouse, duh, so from her burn book, um, she did a box set at um, sort of Feb, March in last year. Gardenia, vanilla and lemon peel. This is actually melting right now in my bedroom. It's a nice scent, like I've had some gardenias that are really overwhelming and this isn't, so that's nice. Um, it's not, it's probably only throwing in a medium in there, like I could smell it when I walked in and walked around, but it kind of you know, stopped being noticeable fairly quickly unless I left the room and came back. Um, you know, it's a, it is a nice scent. It's probably not one I feel the need I'd to have again, and it's not the strongest of performers. Uh, then I have Pumpkin Parcel Scents Watermelon. So um, this one, look, it's not... It doesn't smell exactly like a watermelon. It's a bit creamier. Um, but it is quite refreshing and it is not, it's not like a super candied, um, watermelon scent. So it's quite nice. Um, if I did decide that I wanted to have watermelon on hand as a blender or something, I actually probably would get, I think this is probably the best single note watermelon I've tried. Um, but other than that, I don't think I would probably repurchase it. It threw pretty well. Then I have from House of Melts Strawberry Dreams, so Wild Strawberry Whipped Cream and Sugared Lime. It's funny, this one, gosh, it smells exactly like Play-Doh on cold, um, and the container still smells like Play-Doh. Like, I'm actually, I reckon if I'd got this, like, today, I would have just chucked it straight away. Like, I would not have tried it. Because I got it in the early days, I didn't have much wax and I really wasn't sure what to expect. I actually, I put it in and it warmed up into something really nice. So you actually do get, it's a sweet strawberry. The lime is, you know, that sort of candied version. The whipped cream smooths it out. It's not my favorite blend by any means, but um, it's quite, it's like a miraculous transformation from um, cold to warm. So it's, it's quite interesting that. Um, and you know, a lesson to me not to judge based on cold sniff. Um, and a medium, a sort of med like somewhere between medium and high throw. Then I had uh, from House of Melt Sneaky Sunset. So, um, and it's not, that description is wrong. It was like uh, orange soda, I think, and coconut. It's a really nice, um, a really, really nice fizzy blend. Probably the first blend that showed me that I actually really enjoy fizziness. Um, it was a medium throw. Like you could smell it in the room, but I've had fizzy blends that are much stronger. And I did one room where I combined this, one cube of this and one cube of this, and I could mostly spell the strawberry dreams. The sneaky sunset kind of got, you know, overtaken. So because the throw was not, I've, I've had similar blends that throw better. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase that, but it, it was, it was nice. And it, yeah, I'm, you know, I have a bit of a soft spot for it being, you know, one of my first uh, fizzy blends. Next I have, so one, I did emptied one shot cup, uh, Super Tarts Genie. So this one I think has like cedar wood and teak wood. I'm guessing here, I don't quote me on this. Um, ozone. And I think there's something marine or oceany about that, but it is very much a woodsy blend. Like a, not a, like a, a water-based woodsy blend, if that makes sense. I hope it does. Um, it's really nice. I really enjoyed it. Um, th you know, throws super well, like Super Tarts almost always does for me. Um, I feel like I have enough woodsy and um, salty kind of blends that I don't need to repurchase that one anytime soon. Um, so I won't. I mean, I've got enough of everything at the moment, but... If I had more of that, I would definitely melt it. And maybe one day in the future, I might pick some more up. Uh, then on to some bags. So I emptied uh, Sweet Sage Scents Man of Steel. So this is actually melting right now. 
uh, just behind me in the kitchen. Lemon, lime, citrus, marine and ozonic notes, moss, tonka, lily of the valley, jasmine and sparkling water. I really like this one. It warms up really nicely. Like this is my kind of house freshener scent. I don't lean towards laundries, but this is got this kind of crisp cleanness with the citrus that just really, really, really does, um, really gets me. It's just my type of, my type of scent. Um, sorry, I'm charging my phone at the same time as recording um, and the cable's like pulling at it and then I knock the cable and then that means I knock my phone. Um, yeah, so it's been really pleasant um possible um possible repurchase i'm not sure like again like i'm not really in a repurchase frame of mind at the moment i don't feel like i need to but i would be happy to have that, that's the answer to that question i would be happy to have more of this and i would melt it if i had more and it's 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 a good kind of high thrower it's not you know blowing the, you know not blowing the roof off or anything but it's um it's strong enough. It's yeah, sort of somewhere in between medium and high. Then I melted a Dessa sample, um, so lemon sugar. Um, this is very strong, super strong, and it's and not just in throat, but just the intensity of the actual scent. It's um. Like it is lemon and sugar, it's that's pretty much all it is to it, but it's like it's just to me it's too much. Um it's too intensely lemon. Um I'm trying to it's almost kind of nostril burning in a way. Yeah, I don't know, like I don't know. There's something about it that just didn't sit right with me. Um you know, I've got a I've got a lemon sugar and other fruits blend from Ebony Violet that is a bit more promising on cold that I'm going to melt this week, so I'll probably report back on how it went. Um, because I like the idea of lemon and sugar together, but not this this one's was just too much for me. So um, I wouldn't be purchasing that. Then I melted so a huge favourite of mine, Super Tarts Tormund. So this is um, vanilla buttercream. Harvest Ale and Plum Ginger Ale. So, I, you know, one of my all-time favourites since I really should make sure I've got the notes memorised. And this one, oh, I've t I think I've talked about it a bit before, but it's just this amazing creamy, um, creamy kind of bubbly scent. Like, it reminds me of... Um, I think I've said before, like cream soda or like a, um, you know, we, we call them spiders in Australia, like an ice cream float maybe, but with like a, a plum or a deep berry or some kind of soft drink like that, or even like Portello, like that type of scent. Um, super strong, super long lasting, and it's just, it's so unique. I've not smelled anything like this. So um, I have got, I've got half of a shot, Cup, maybe two thirds of a shot cup left, and then some clams for wax Wednesday that aren't here yet. Um, so I think I'm good for a while for Tormund, but definitely one of my staple melts. Uh, then I have a Sweet Sage Scents Doll Parts. So this was a sample that came uh, lavender, grapefruit, vanilla twist, and pink sugar. Um, ba -ba -ba. This one was interesting. I did enjoy it. Like, um, I like scents with grapefruit. It's funny. I hate the f I hate grapefruit. I won't eat it, but it smells really nice. Pink sugar doesn't come through super strong. It's definitely like a grapefruit, lavender. Yeah, it was an interesting blend. Um, I'd possibly try it again. I think it's hard for me to comment on the throw because I had it running when the aircon was on. And I feel like the aircon really does impact how things throw. So I could smell it. So it was kind of at the medium level. It might have been stronger without the aircon. So that's a maybe. I, I was intrigued by that one. I feel like I didn't get to spend enough time with it and sit with it to really decide. Then I had a... So this I melted earlier today. So Super Tarts Little Finger. Uh, so this is 
uh, cucumber, melons, and bathos lush type, which is uh, violets, cedarwood, I think, and a bit of lemon. Now, I didn't, nothing about this stood out to me on cold. It was a kind of slightly lemony, floral, kind of woodsy, nothing really special. Um, when I went through the sampler, I was just like, yeah, I, I just, I had no, on cold, it gave me, you know, there was, I had no desire to warm it. It's really nice, uh, warmed up. It's, it completely changes into this very, I think it was because the cucumber and the melon doesn't come through on cold, but it does warm. Um, it's like, a. it's, it's really fresh, but it's got that kind of, I really like, um, you know, violet as a floral is that kind of deeper and with the bit of woodsiness too, it's a much deeper um, floral and I really, really enjoy that. Um, but then with the uplifting kind of cucumber and melon, like it was refreshing without being sort of, you know, super, like kind of like a, a sort of a good refreshing scent for like a, for cooler bumps, if that makes sense. Like not a real refreshing summer spritzer sort of thing, but um, you know, one that, if you wanted something a bit lighter in the depths of winter, it kind of felt like that. Um, so I, I would get this again. Um, I think I definitely would. Not anytime soon. And like I say, I don't want it. I don't need to qualify that. I'm not going to be getting new things anytime soon. But um, no, I enjoyed that enough to get to have, and that's literally the only because um, I only had it in the sampler. So um, that's the only one I had. Then I emptied uh, Maple Immortal Clueless. So this was a wax donut. It was orange peels, um, something sugared. I can't remember the rest of the note. But look, the first time I melted this, I didn't get a huge amount out of it. Um, but the second time, so this time I melted the last two pieces in two different warmers. And it did a lot better. And interestingly enough, it performed really well in my uh, kitchen warmer, which is a candle warmers. All my warmers are 20 watt hot plates, but um, I find the candle warmer one is probably my poorest performer um, because it's partly because it's in, because of the location in part, because it's near windows and stuff and it's got a more kind of open plan space to, um, to spread to. But also, because I think it's just the thickness of the um, the thickness of the plate of the um, of the dish. I think it's just a bit different. I think it conducts heat a little bit differently. Is my theory. Um, but for this one, it seemed like it didn't perform so well in my Glade hot plates, which are pretty like they're my sort of all round performers. Um, but it did really well in the kitchen because this time, the second time I melted it, I put one in the Glade hot plate, plate in my laundry, which is quite enclosed and one in the kitchen and the kitchen one was throwing much better than the laundry. So I find that very strange. Like I can't think of a logical reason for why that might be, but there you go. Um, but yeah, this is really not like sugary. The orange peel is really nice. I, um, yeah, I, I really did enjoy this. Probably not enough to repurchase. I have other fruity scents from Maple and Model that I like more than that. Um, but I enjoyed it. Uh, then I also I melted a wax, finished off a wax chunk as well from Maple and Model. So Dream Island. This one was mango and coconut or coconut milk maybe. And really quite straightforward but really, really enjoyable. Like I really like a good mango blend and this was really good. Um, it threw quite strongly, it performed really well, uh, lasted a long time, uh, repurchased, look, maybe, um, I have a lot of mango blends, so possibly not, just because I've got a lot to get through, but, um, I liked it enough to, I would keep melting it if I had it, um, I'm taking a long time to get through my empties, um, I always just, I just talk too much, um, floral bouquet, so this was a, from a maple model sampler, spring fling, um, I can't remember specifically what florals. It's a very fresh, sweet type of floral um, blend. Like not super green, more kind of sweet. Um, it was enjoyable. It probably I don't think it threw super strongly. Um, I think some of these packets I I wanted to melt through them because um, 
I think some of the packets weren't sealing properly and so it may have lost a bit of scent. Um, so yeah, probably not a scent I would go out of my way to repurchase. I also melted um, from the same sample as Sunkissed Booty Bits. Uh, this one I liked more. Like it's sweet but it's got kind of like a cocktail vibe going on. Um, and I really do like, she does a lot of really nice cocktail sort of scents with margarita and stuff like that. I don't know if this, I don't think this one has margarita, but it's definitely giving me cocktail vibes. Um, it was a, probably a medium to high throw. I think it did die off kind of around the five hour mark or something though. Um, there's a mate, oh, no, I've got other boozy scents from her I like more. Um... And then the last empty is also a Maple and Mortal. This was from her very gory sampler. So M is for Maud, who got washed out to sea. Uh, this was driftwood, beach sand, like sandy beaches and something. And it was really nice. I This is probably one of my favorites from this sampler so far. Um, yeah, it's it's got a bit of floral to it, but it's just yeah just a really nice driftwood beach kind of scent but not super woodsy um and it threw really st probably the strongest throw um off that sampler as well so i if she offered that in uh part of, in part of the regular line i reckon i would get it it was really nice okay so that's the empties now on to the non-empties um and there's a bit to get through here so super tarts pan so ocean water supernova so that's a lush type which i know has some mint and um stuff in it and strawberry slices so um this one mostly comes through a supernova to me not entirely um it's kind of, so it's kind of like it's a powdery orange spearmint but the spearmint's not super strong thankfully um, I definitely think the ocean water changed it. Like if I had a melt near me, if I had, I used up the last, I had some supernova in a particular, in a, um, Australian brand. If I had the two, I would compare cause I don't think it's a hundred percent supernova, but that's the, the dominant thing. Um, and I don't get the strawberry slices. I think the only thing that comes through as well as supernova is maybe it gets watered down a little with the ocean water. Um, it's, it's a nice scent. It threw pretty well. Um, it lasted a while. I'll enjoy what I've got and I'll use what I've got, but I'm not sure it's one that would be worth repurchasing. Then I melted um, Lord, so Treebeard. Uh, cream soda, cantaloupe, and a touch of pine. This one smells weird um, on cold to me. It kind of just smells like candy. Um, but when it warmed up, it was quite nice. The touch of pine is not super strong. Um, it's kind of like a melony soda mostly, but I think the pine is just like a nice little touch underneath. Um, so I quite enjoyed it. Um, it's definitely better warm than it is cold. I found that it was probably one of the few super tarts that I found didn't perform super, like it was probably at best it was a medium. And that might be, even though I bought it fairly recently, like, it's the older, smaller label. So, and I don't know, because I've been buying super tarts that long when she switched over. Um, so maybe it's an age thing like this. Maybe this is quite old. I don't actually know. Um, so anyway, so I probably, because of the performance, um, I, and it's a nice scent, but it's not one I'm, I really must have again. So I will enjoy what I have. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase. Then I have some just grabbing up my clam shells um one tree hill so fresh mint leaf and raindrops i melted this we had a big rain after loads of um of after several hot days this week and i melted this then and it was perfect um it is an amazing i'm not normally a huge mint lover but this is just so fresh and amazing <sighs> yep it's definitely kind of a, a herbal mint kind of thing and the raindrops are, um, it's definitely on the fresher kind of green side, but not floral, not really florally. Um, but yeah, no, definite, um, definitely love this blend. Um, I will, and it's very strong. I may well get that again one day. I think it will last me a while because I've got different scents I like to reach for when it rains, but I enjoy that a lot. Uh, scent, 
new to me Australian brand Sense by Sarah, so White Haven Beach. Um, I don't know the notes yet because I haven't gone and posted it on Instagram yet. So, because I melted this yesterday morning and I'm not up to yesterday morning yet. Where am I? No, this morning. I melted it this morning. That makes sense. So this one, um, on cold, I mostly get wax with, like, this wax scent with, like, a vague kind of floraliness. And to be honest, it didn't really perform warm either. So I was a bit disappointed as a first hit out for that brand. Um, it's just, there was, I think when I was close, like, within a meter of the warmer, I got a bit of a kind of floral scent, but that was it. So... Um, would not repurchase that one. Um, but this one performed okay. So same brand, uh, fresh, her fresh and clean mix. So, um, each one of these bars is a different scent, but the overpour is freshly washed linen. Um, I melted the top two. So, um, in one warmer I had wild bamboo and honeysuckle and in another warmer I had, um, like energy and it was quite nice. So they both threw probably medium on the medium side. Um, I could smell them enough, um, and they were quite nice. I actually, funnily enough, I've smelt energy on its own, and I can't even really describe it, but I don't like it that much. Like, it's, it's kind of zesty, but it feels like it needs a bit of sweetness to me. Um, but it actually paired quite well with the freshly washed linen. I was less of a fan. Funnily enough, I like the wild bamboo and honeysuckle on cold, but it was not my favourite warmed up. I, I don't really know why. So, um... This is a cool concept. I probably wouldn't repurchase it, but, you know, I kind of like the idea of how you can mix and match and stuff. And that one did throw better. Still not amazingly, but definitely better than the Whitehaven Beach, which I couldn't smell. Uh, then I also melted, uh, so Southbound Rosewater Lemonade. So beautiful blend of rose petals and lemon tonic. This one is really nice. A, a bit wary of kind of rose and lemon blends because they make me think of um they make me think of rose jam which is like a powdery rose and lemon and yeah but this is not like that at all this is like fresh real rose petals or like um you know like a floral like a rose tea or rose hip tea or something with a real zesty kind of lemon tonic really strong throw like I found with all Southbound, uh, performed really, really well. Um, Southbound is a difficult one for me to get into to purchase um, for various reasons, but I reckon I would get that again if I did. That was really nice. Uh, I melted Maple and Mortal... Can I... There we go. Magical Sands. Um, oh, I can't remember the notes to this. It's quite sweet. Sweet and fruity, that one. Um, it was a medium to high throw. Um, it was okay. Probably not. I've got... She does a, a lot of sweet and fruity scents. Like, a lot of them. Um, and there are some that I really love. And there's some that I enjoy. But, you know, I'd go back to my favourites. And so this is probably not one that I would go I would go to. Um, I have ones that I like more than that. So next. Um, Waxidents. Uh, blue sugar type rain and patchouli so this was um, a blender I requested not that it's that unique I'm sure it's been done to death but all of her stuff is custom um, and she does not have it on her list on cold it actually does not it just gives me blue sugar and a bit of patchouli I remember not being very impressed when it came through on cold but it warms up into a really really nice scent um, the rain really starts to come through and it's a really nice rain oil um, and it's just yeah it's a really nice uh, when I feel like blue sugar this is often the one I want to reach for so um, I don't know if I'm going to get more of it when I run out it's possible I might because I do really enjoy it and it is a really good performer uh, Waxidents does really well in my home so um, possibly possibly I will get it again um, melted some of the um, Empire Alchemy The Huntress. Pear, pomegranate, blood orange, pine, wood, smoky marshmallow, patchouli, black pepper and vanilla. I've raved about this, I think, I hope enough on this channel. Um, it is one of my all-time favourite blends and I have a lot of it. It's very, it's quite sweet because the pear and the pomegranate and, the, and it brings out the real sweetness of 
Lord of Misrule, but it's got that smoky undertone as well. It is a beautiful scent and performs probably the best performer of all of my um, Empire Alchemy. I mean, she does pretty well in my home anyway, but this one um, I had melting for ages on one day, a good, you know, nine hours or so, and then I switched it on the next day and it was still throwing really strongly in the next morning. So um, definitely a huge favorite of mine. I have Tea Time Tarts Three Kings, so Palo Santo and Lord of Misrule. This one was great. I love both of these scents, and her Palo Santo is one of my favourites. It's the stronger, it is a stronger Palo Santo um, than some vendors. So if you don't like your Palo Santo strong, she's probably not one to get from. Um, but yeah, just the woodsiness with that sweet the vanilla bean and stuff that's in the um, Lord of Misrule, they go so well together. Um, so definitely, definitely. Um, and yeah, through really strongly. Like her blends do really well in my home, um, especially her Palo Santo blends. So I have a lot of Palo Santo blends and I've got more coming from other vendors at the moment. So probably because of that, I can't see myself repurchasing um, this anytime soon. But I will savor what I have and possibly in the future I will re-get it. I just don't feel like I need much more Palo Santo right now. Um, do, do, do. So I melted a bit more of this Star Pie. Barrett's Wax Crafts, uh, Blackberry Sangria and Blood Orange Mimosa and Ginger Ale. This is a favorite of mine. Um, his wax pies are a bit hit and miss, but the... Oh no, sorry, his wax is a bit hit and miss sometimes, but the... Um, star pies have been spot on and I love like blood orange is a favorite scent of mine blackberry sangria must smell awesome too on its own um, and his ginger ale is fantastic too like it is quite a heady scent like um, you know it's it's not a subtle background scent this one really does um, you know it's it's there it's really noticeable and strong um so you have to be in the mood for it but no i really, really enjoy this and um if he offers it in a pie again i mean look i've still got half just over the half the pie left so it's taking me a while to melt through but um i would possibly replace it maybe not this year but maybe next year um next i have uh, so from that smell good shop i have sydney prescott so blackberry mango and fizzy I enjoyed this a lot more this time than I did the first time I melted it. And I think it's her mango. She uses this, I think it might even be mango sorbet and not actual just plain mango. Because I've got it in another blend I really enjoy, which is um, Avo Bath, mango, uh, mango sorbet, and honey. And that gives me a similar kind of vibe as well. And I think it's this really creamy mango sorbet I think she uses. Look, I could be wrong, but... It's definitely a creamy, sweet mango um, with the blackberry and the fizzy. And it smells so good. It, it's a really strong throwing scent um, and through for ages. I did, I think I had this running when I was doing a fair bit of filming and it was just in there. It was behind me and throwing and, you know, the whole time and it was just making me happy. So um, I might get some more, probably not anytime soon. Uh, I, I don't know why I keep saying that. Like... I just don't need more wax right now. But sometime in the future, um, when I run out of this, and I've only got three more pieces left, um, I would probably get some more. I do wish that these came in 10 packs or 8 packs, because I find I like to use two cubes, so I get stuck in this awkward spot with three cubes left. But then I often sometimes just use that last cube to blend with. L3 Waxy Wonders. Cream Soda, Watermelon, Lemonade, and Fizzy Pop. Um... I don't think this was one of my original picks, but I threw it in because I had some other fizzy blends going, and this is like a, it's like a staple blend for me. Like it's just a super reliable, fresh, fizzy, slightly creamy, fruity. It just hits all the. It's it's not one that I go crazy for, but it just because I enjoy fizzy fruity blends so much, it just it hits all of the right notes, and it's really strong. And I just, I just love it. Um, it's just really good. So, um, I've still got a full bunch of it. So it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, but sometime in the future, if I run out, yes, it's probably one I would want to top up at some point because it's just, 
a reliable, dependable, really nice, refreshing scent. Next, I have, so I had this on at the same time as Sydney Prescott, similar kind of notes, but quite a different melt. Uh, vintage Chic Scents, the Chicago Outfit. So Juicy Blackberry Mango Infused Ginger Ale. So this one is much more, the mango is definitely not as creamy and sweet. Um, and the blackberry and the ginger ale, it's much, well, I mean the other one was fizzy, but the ginger ale comes through a lot in this. So I really, I really enjoy this. This is um, a really good ginger ale scent. It throws really well um, in my house. Most, I've heard some people say that recent vintage chic scents doesn't throw so well. Um, but I've mostly gotten good performance out of it. And this one is particularly strong for me. Um, it smells really nice. It's a really nice ginger ale blend. Um, as a maybe, as uh, again, like I've, it's actually went missing for a while. I probably would have used it up sooner. So... Look, I have a lot of ginger ale scents and a lot of blackberry and stuff, but um, it's possible that I might one day top this one up again. It's, it is a really cool, really good blend. Um, nearly done, Thomas. Uh, um, pumpkin parcel scents full moon. I can't remember what the notes are for this, um, but I enjoyed it. Uh, I, it. I'm pretty sure it's got like one of those floral rain sort of scents to it. Um, some rain, like torrential rain or whatever. I don't know if that's in it, but it's got that kind of florally, um, kind almost cologne sort of vibe. Um, it is really nice. I probably wouldn't repurchase it. It's a good throw. It's actually a really strong performer. Um, maybe repurchase. I don't. I don't know. Anyway, I, I don't mind it. I like it. Um, I enjoy it while it's melting. Then I have uh, ebony violet day drinking. So white peach sangria and calming nad champa. This is a really nice fresh peach drink scent. Um, I really did enjoy it. It perfor uh, It was an okay performer. I think it sort of threw at a medium to high level. It didn't quite hit high. Um, it's very sweet. Um, it's like not a fruity peach. It's definitely like a, a drink peach. Um, it's starting to come off. Um, I don't know if I would repurchase it. I probably would have liked it to have thrown a little bit more. Um, and there was no Nag Champ. I didn't pick up Nag Champ off. Um, which would have been interesting if I did. I feel like that would have been an interesting combo, but it just didn't quite come through. Uh, so probably not a repurchase for that, but it's nice. Uh, three shots and then I'm done. I've, they've all got like middle piece left because I like to do my shots in thirds. Uh, so Destination Wax Pink Sari. So pink sugar blender combined with patchouli essential oil. Look, this is a really nice pink sugar. Um, and patchouli. Like it's a really nice scent. I probably wouldn't melt... like. I might blend this with something. I don't know what yet. Um, it's not something I would reach for on its own. It just, it struck me as a blender. Like, it felt like it was missing something. Um, it threw pretty well. Um, and for a while. But yeah, I I don't know if I would repurchase this unless I come up with some, like, blending ideas for it. Because it's not one I would melt, I want to melt on its own. Um, Empire Alchemy Suede, so patchouli, cedarwood, spiced vanilla, and leather. This one's very strong, um, a very strong leather scent, woody leather. Um, a lot of the leather scents I have, um, have something kind of sweeter to temper them. This one did not. Um, and I, you can see this piece, I actually have almost half, like, I used thirds, but they were kind of smaller than thirds if that makes sense and they threw really strongly in the bedrooms so I I, I enjoy it because I always really enjoy leather scents I like that kind of musky not musky but that manly sweetness that leather gives um that said like this one I'm enjoying it I think I might even have another shot um but I have other leather blends that I would reach for and purchase before that one so I probably wouldn't repurchase it again for that and lastly, I have Hayden Row Black Sea Barber. So I had some, when I had some of those uh, other kind of laundry scents going, I put this one on as well. Um, I, re I remember enjoying this last time. This time, I didn't, I didn't notice it. I don't know if that was me and my nose or the throw or... So I have to give it another go because it smells really nice cold. Kind of clean, but... Oceanic and yeah, like 
that barbershop kind of scent, but nicer. Like, I'm not the biggest barbershop fan, like, or, you know, shaving cream or barbershop or whatever type fan, but this one is good. Um, but, yeah, it just didn't... So, I'll... I don't know how I feel because I feel like that one did much better last time. But anyway, that is it. That is everything that I melted for the week. Um, I've been trying to get myself to keep these under 25 minutes, but I just ramble on. So apologies for that. Um, so I won't keep rambling any further. Um, have a great rest of the weekend, week, whatever, you, um, whatever you're going to do. Bye.